Hey there guys, Buddy here. So there are four main ways to find height on a map. The first being a trigonometrical beacon, the second being a spot height, the third being a benchmark, and the fourth being your contour lines. Now it's very important to be able to identify these because remember in your exam paper, it will ask you for height at a specific point or you may need to find the difference in height when you calculate your gradient. So in terms of your spot height, it's basically just going to be a dot with a number next to that dot. And that number is going to represent your height for a very specific point, obviously in meters. Now we can see in our example that the number next to the dot will be 1240. Now that is going to represent 1240 meters. So if you are asked for height at a specific point, then that will be your answer. So next we have your trigonometrical beacons. Now this is also going to be known as your trig beacons. Now a trig beacon is going to be marked with a small triangle and there's going to be a number below the triangle and next to the triangle. Now the number below the triangle will be the actual height that you are looking for, right? And the number that's going to be next to the triangle is just the number of the beacon. So in our example, we can see that the number below the triangle, which is our height, will be 1040 meters. Whereas the number next to the triangle will be 34. And that's just going to be the number of the beacon. So just remember that and also remember that your trig beacon will be found at the highest point of hills and mountains. So the third way would be a benchmark. And your benchmark will be found along roads or railways and you will see an arrow with a number next to it and that number is going to be your height. So in this case you can see that the height will be 340 meters. And the last way to find height on a map would be by looking for contour lines. So contour lines will be these brown lines on a map that will join places of equal height. Now on your topographic maps with a scale of 1 is to 50,000, the lines are going to be drawn and numbered in brown. And each contour line will have a value. Now we need to remember that if the lines are going to be very close together, that means that the slope is going to be steep. And if the lines are wide and far apart, it means that the slope is going to be gentle. Now we can see on this specific contour line that the height will be 320 meters. Oh, and one more thing to remember is that the difference between two consecutive contours will be known as the contour interval. And remember when I say consecutive contours, I'm actually talking about the ones that are going to be directly next to each other. Okay, so now let's do a quick example. I promise you it won't take longer than two to three minutes. So the question reads, what is the difference in height between point A and point B? So what we need to do is subtract the smaller height from the bigger height. So we can see point A is going to be your trig beacon 6, right? And the height below that will be 1640 meters. And point B will be a spot height and the height will read 1600 meters. So 1640 minus 1600 meters will give us 40 meters. Therefore, the difference in height between point A and point B will be 40 meters. So can you see how important it is to be able to identify the height? Because many people will get confused when they're going to be looking at your trig beacon. So that's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you did find it helpful, then please give the video a like. If you want more videos like this, then please subscribe. I want to thank you so much for watching. And remember, stay cool, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.